Hey, thanks for tuning in to the 103 GBF YouTube channel. I'm the Sandman with another edition of my webisode, The Coolest Guy I Know. And this week, one cool guy and a good friend of mine, Mr. Chris Coyle. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Thanks yeah. for taking time from your schedule to come in and be on the YouTube channel and let Hello, everybody man. know just how cool you are. Oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the stuff you do, some of the stuff that I know about anyway. Um, are, by the way, are you an Emsville native? I am. Born and raised. Okay. And I didn't leave here until I was about 21. I shipped off in the Air Force and went to boot camp over Christmas that year. And uh, I learned a lot about the world. I uh, went to Texas, California, the East Coast, and Maryland. I went overseas for a year in Korea. So I got to see the world and experience uh, new cultures and then decided to bring that back here whenever I uh, separated. So I, I, One thing I was going to ask you is about your military service, and I want to thank you for serving you. in the United States military. I'm very proud of what you do and you. proud of all of our men and women in the service. Absolutely. Um, out of all your travels, what would you have to say would be your favorite region, your favorite country maybe you've been to? Uh, I haven't really done a lot of uh, international travel. Just uh, I was uh, an American serviceman living in the land of Korea for okay. a year. Right. So I was like immersed in that culture. And I had some training before learning the language and learning about the culture. So I had kind of like a heads up before I experienced all of it. But uh, I mean, that year I was out there I made a whole lot of new friends that's one of the things in the military whenever you're just like there's people from everywhere like bunched together and you're a new family like a new community yeah so you learn uh, a lot about people you never would have met if you haven't ventured outside of like what you know so uh, one of the most memorable things is I met a lot of people that were into heavy metal like I was so all the dudes in Deliverers from Evil were like really coming up they were like my homies yeah you know? so like and I was sharing their music whenever I was with friends from around like the country and around the world and they're sure. like whoa who is this it's like these are dudes from my hometown you know so doof yeah the old doof hashtag doof Let, let's talk about that that's my next question you're a musician you're a guitarist you're in the band deliver us from evil who I know this has not posted on their Facebook page since March 15th. Oh, What's well, up with that? Research. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, uh, I wonder what these guys were up to. Yeah. Not a lot. Well, <laughs> right, man. <laughs> that wasn't really, like, on the agenda. It just kind of <laughs> happened. Where, like, where we are now, there has been, uh, like, over the past couple years, there's been kind of, like, this um, not so, like, openly, like, documented uh, evolution going on. Mm -hmm. Um like our uh, the founding guitar player John, who's also my cousin, he just uh, decided that it was time for him to hang it up with the band. And uh, at the time, we were working on developing a whole lot of new material and demoing it. And so it's kind of just we didn't know what to do. We only played one gig last year that was down in or up in Indianapolis for their metal fest right. they do every year. And then uh, so we all kind of came to this uh, decision that we all were like cool with kind of like putting it on the back burner for right now right. and exploring new avenues creatively. And so that's kind of where we are with that. But I mean, it's cool. You've been able to use our newest stuff that uh, yeah. we put out like after all that uh, decision making was going on. And, you know, like featuring, like, uh, one of our songs on the radio in the Rock the Gun. That was cool, man. That was, like, the first time, like, on air, yeah. like, real deal for us with that, like, uh, EP that we did. So. It's funny because that was the last post on the, your new guys' Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in 103 GBF and hear our new song. <laughs> I so. remember that day. We got yeah. a lot of likes. That was cool. So I think everybody was, like, stoked for us that we were, you know, we invested a lot of ourselves into that work. Um, we brought in... Uh, world-class metal producer Mark Lewis who works with Audio Hammer Studios and he came in and was like the producer for the record and he made it sound the best that it possibly could so that was awesome he's worked with bands like Trivium, Whitechapel, uh, 
All That Remains, Devil Driver, like all these huge names. Pretty well known bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like his his mark is on a lot of stuff out there that people are listening to. Battle Cross, like one of our homeboy like bands that we like played with whenever we were still going. Yeah. Like, we would go up to Michigan and play with them. They'd come down to Evansville and play with us. It was like a real cool deal and now they're blown up. Like they're on they're a hot band on Metal Blade now. So it's pretty rad to see how uh, friends you make through uh, the experiences you have, like where they can like just launch and take off and make something like of themselves, you know. And uh, so, there's no question. Deliver us from evil is a uh, a very excellent all original metal band. I mean, oh, I've thank you. kind of stayed up with the band's uh, career via yeah. your roommate Alex Morgan, for, oh, yeah. the drummer for quite a while. Alex, yeah, he was like yeah. the guy that was like his uh, first like huge. Uh, project for uh, just developing like a homegrown metal band through the avenues that are available to us today. Like it, he was uh, one of the first friends I ever had that really uh, took to online social media and getting it developed through there. And that's how that's how Delivers from Evil developed like a real following, like international following. Right. Where you have people, you can uh, go to a website, upload your tracks. And then people from around the world can hear your stuff and leaving comments, liking your uh, pages and following you on Twitter and like all kinds of crazy stuff that's just readily available. It's just knowing how to uh, put something out there that people will respond to positively. That's something that I think has always been true of that genre of metal all the way back to, um, I mean, I watched the history of metal on VH1 Classic and, and Lars Ulrich was talking yeah. about Tape sharing, you know, oh, making yeah. dubs of tapes to where you can hardly even understand what's yeah. on the tape. But now that it's digital, file file sharing is a big oh, deal. It's, it's uh, like the means of communication is much more efficient. Like that was their social media back in the day. Yeah. It's like making a tape and like getting out there and like handing your work to somebody yep. physically. Now we're at the point in time where we don't have like all those uh, like uh, steps that you had to follow to get something out there in somebody's hands. It's like instant. It's like real time communication sharing now. That's so really cool. That's why it's it's really cool. And there's also it's more challenging in a way that there's like a flooded market with all that stuff. So it's there's always, once the bar is raised, there's always that next challenge of like, well, how am I going to distinguish myself here? Right. You know, it, because you have to think like that if you're going to be an independent uh, band, like marketing yourself. Sure. In a kind of narrow genre, because this area doesn't really like. It's not known for its taste in like heavy metal of like right. throwing bands out there, but I mean there is a there is a, a great pool of talent around here, not in just uh, metal or heavy music, but like all around. So yeah, it's, it's we do have some amazing musicians yeah. in this town. Yeah, and you're one of those. You're also one oh, of the coolest yeah. guys I know, Chris Coyle. <laughs> By the way, people probably don't know this unless they looked at the fine print, but Chris made our 2014 103 GBF hometown honeys calendar. And I'm hoping maybe you'll help out with the next one, too. Oh, we might uh, work something out there. That was a cool project for me. I, I put in a lot of hours just laying that thing out, but that yeah. was cool, man. I'm glad to help out. I was an intern, so that was one of my cool uh, experiences I got to have through like being having access to help out you guys with what you do. So I'll try to bribe you for the next one somehow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all ears, man. <laughs> Chris Coyle, coolest guy I know. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in the 103 GBF YouTube you. channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can see more cool guys like this guy, Chris Coyle. Thanks for watching.